Hello, Scorpio viewers. As a lot of my followers know, I was just in Seattle County in Washington trying to find the soulmate that I've been channeling, but I am back home in California now, so getting back to my readings. Um, I'm going to start with just looking into the situation, what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, whatever comes up. The last reading I did, I was getting that someone was fighting the urge to send you an emotional drunk text. So kind of feels like there was like a recent breakup or maybe someone is um, having some clarity and they're wanting to reconcile. Uh, this energy could get even stronger with Mercury retrograde coming up. So we'll just use these cards to see what's going on. And then I have some love messages here I'm going to get into after that as well. Okay. So please give me clear and direct messages for the Scorpios that are drawn to this video. What is going on? Hidden truth coming out. And, oops, oh, sorry. <laughs> End of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom. Finances, career. Hesitation and mixed feelings. Fast move, fast moving, okay. They're right there. <laughs> fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events. Third party distraction, karmic partner. Ooh. Trapped, blocked, and tied up. Spying. Mental instability. Ooh, it's interesting energy here. I feel like a hidden truth is about to come out. So either you have a third party situation going on here where like you're talking to someone else because you're trying to forget this ex or they're talking to someone else. Could be a third party is the reason that you guys broke up or maybe now that you've broken up, they're upset and they're in this self-destructive phase. So they're sleeping with other people or they have this karmic partner, some, some kind of third party energy here, but it feels like. I mean, I would love to give you guys like, and it's not like a negative reading or anything like that, but there's, there's some chaos here. There's some fast moving energy here. I'm not going to lie. There's some tower moments coming up for, for this connection here. Um, just when you kind of thought that was over with, there's, there's some more, I hate to say it, but I, it, I'm from the cards. It's kind of saying there's, some, there's some more drama coming up because this person's not letting you go. So either you're not letting them go. Or they're not letting you go. I feel like for the majority of you, it's them not letting you go. I feel like this hidden truth has either just come out or it's about to come out. It's going to be something like, like a pregnancy or like, a, like, you know, talking, like dating someone new, but like he or she is dating them to make you jealous. Like they're just, it's kind of like just sexual, like they're kind of using this person to make you jealous and to forget about you. It's kind of like a rebound relationship. Like it's not serious, but they just don't want to think about you, but it feels like some kind of hidden truth is coming out here. And it could be this person. Cause like I said, the last reading I did on this, uh, which was about a month ago. So this person was, um, you know, fighting the urge to send you an emotional drunk text. And I'm sure by now some of them have sent the text already, probably. Um, but it feels like within the last month, like they, they met someone that they're kind of just using to not think about you, if that makes sense. Or they're talking to like an ex or someone again, like maybe there was like a third party that came in between you that, um, Maybe they didn't like, they weren't in love with them, but they liked the attention or they still cared about them. And maybe you wanted them to, you know, cut this person out and they didn't. And now that you guys are broken up, they're just going to go ahead and talk to them pretty much. But, um, but yeah, like I said, I'd like to give you a happier reading, but it kind of seems like there's a hidden truth that's just come out or going to come out. It's going to give you a sense of freedom though, because I feel like some of you are kind of unsure, like you're like hesitant, like mixed feelings, like mixed feelings about this connection. Like some part of you is like, 
well, if I had just done this or if I had just done this, would things have been different? Like, would they have loved me differently? Would they have stayed or would I have wanted to stay? Could we have gotten couples counseling? You know, like just asking yourself those kind of questions, like, you know, what would have happened? Like just there's, there's a sense in this relationship where it's like, you guys, it's like codependent is kind of what I'm getting from this energy. And it feels like you guys didn't give each other closure, but I think you didn't want to give each other closure. Like either you didn't want to give them closure or they didn't want to give you closure or both. It's like you didn't want that finality, even though you're pissed and you're done or they're pissed and they're done, whatever, however that, whatever that looks like. It's like you, you guys still are kind of addicted to each other in some toxic way. And it's like you... You didn't want that, that finality of that, um, like closure, like, oh, like, like, we you know, we had a good run, but we were done. It's, it's more, it's more chaotic. It kind of feels like there's still a lot of unfinished business, um, maybe like karmic lessons even between you two. But, um, uh, but yeah, when this hidden truth comes out, if it has not come out already, I feel like you're almost going to feel like a sense of freedom, like ending a pattern or cycle breakthrough. Cause I feel like in the present moment, you're kind of, like you're moving forward, but some part of you is like, well, when they drunk text me, what if they really do mean that they want to change? What if they really are being honest? What if they really, you know what I mean? Like you're asking yourself those questions, like what could have been? But I feel like when this truth comes out, it's, it's going to make you just want to go forward and focus on your finances. And, and again, this isn't for like, don't try to make it fit if it's not fitting. You know what I mean? Like this is either your story or it isn't. Um, so only take what resonates with you. Because I mean, and again, like interpret the cards as well in a way that resonates with you. Because sometimes this will mean certain, like this might mean something specific for you. Maybe Maybe birds mean something specific for you. It's like use your intuition. You know what I mean? This is just a general reading. And if you want a paid private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box. Um, and yeah, any donations are appreciated. And uh, please subscribe if it resonates. So, God, what is this in truth? I feel like it's going to be different for all of you. For some of you, it is a third party. Um, for some of you, you could be the one in a third party situation. And this is going to come out and this is going to kind of change things a little bit for, for the connection. Uh, for others, I feel like it's just you discovering your own personal truths here. Like just taking the mask off and just realizing that you want to focus on something else. You want to go in a different direction. For a lot of you, it feels like your person is like distracting themselves with a third party. Trapped, blocked, tied up, spying, mental instability. Hmm. It almost feels like the karmic is spying on them while they're spying on you. Because it's like this person kind of feels like... Like this person is not... I mean, not that this is healthy in any way, like, but this per like your person's not in love with this person. This person's basically using them because they were just like drinking or, you know, being self-destructive, trying to get over you. Like they were really upset. And I'm not saying it makes it okay. I'm just, you know, it is what it is. It's just, it's, this is the energy, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not for it or against it. It's just, this is what it is, you know? Um, but, but from what I'm channeling here, it's like your person went through a phase where they were going to bars a lot, or they just drinking at home or doing drugs or doing, um, just unhealthy outlets, like whatever, like slipping back into old patterns, um, could be just self-destruction. I see, I see self-mutilation, honestly, for some of them, um, just a lot of, of chaos, and I feel like this person's basically using someone now to try to not think about you so much or they just, they want the sex, they want, um, they just want someone there. They're tired of feeling this way. And I feel like this karmic kind of knows that they're being used. Like you see this person, it's like he, he or she is like looking elsewhere and she's like, 
trying to claim him. Look at her. She's like trying to claim him and he's just kind of like not even paying attention to her. He's like, I don't care. I'm like, he's looking at you still, you know, he or she is looking at you still. So this person's being used basically. And for some, like if this is like a drug or alcohol situation, like this person could actually be on drugs themselves. So this, they're just kind of partying together. Um, I get that for a couple people. I feel like, yeah, like this person, this karmic is just being used for sex, for drugs, for, for fun, for, for distraction. It's, it's like a rebound kind of connection. The karmic is not wanting to accept that though. They want this to be something serious, but your person is still set on winning you back. Like your person is still like, they just, they miss you. It's like they lay next to this person and they just cry because they, you know, when this person falls asleep, they start, they cry because they miss you. They want it to be you. Um, so I feel, I mean, this, it's sad for this person because they're, they're really getting screwed over here. They're really just being used and they don't even realize it. I almost feel like this person might, like your person might even be kind of mean to this person and even be like, Hey, like you can't tell my ex about us. Like I still want my ex back. You know, we can mess around, but, you know, don't get serious about me. I'm still trying to get my ex back. It's like, it's like this person like probably knows about you or like he or she knows that your person is like not attentive with them, like, like their mind and their heart are elsewhere. Um, and I almost feel like your person's spying on you and the karmic in the meantime is spying on them. It's like mental, a lot of mental instability and chaos here. Um, someone's kind of trapped and blinded here, blocked, tied up. It's like the karmic is like spying on them and watching them and trying to claim them. Meanwhile, your person is focused on winning you back and spying on you. So it's like this weird, vicious cycle. Um, it's like this third party energy just got thrown into the mix. And like I said, use your own intuition because if you're watching this and you're like, oh, I think the third party is his career, or I think the third party is this toxic friend that he cut out. Um, you know, that was like a brother or sister to him and, and, you know, cause we didn't like each other, but now they're talking again and they're friends again, but it's nothing romantic. You know what I mean? Like use your own intuition too, because this could be, you know, specify this. Like if this isn't, you know what I mean? Like it might not be, um, a romantic partner for all of you, but for most of you, I feel like it is. But, but again, only take what resonates, you know, leave what, you know, it's, it's either your story or it isn't. But yeah, it's like someone's kind of using someone else to distract themselves from you. And it's just a lot of chaos. It's a lot of drama. And this person's getting competitive with you and you might not even know who they are. Stagnation, complacency. Choosing their words wisely. Yeah, they're, they're wanting to talk to you. I feel like maybe they... Maybe they got ignored or maybe they don't know what to say or maybe like they just, it's just chaos is what I get from this, this reading. Um, but they're choosing their words wisely. They're planning their approach. They're tired of being stagnant. They're tired of being isolated, alone, empty. They're tired of feeling like this. They're, it's like they're wanting to word things a certain way with you and they're not sure how to word them. X, the past, confusion, uncertainty. That's like... They're not accepting that it's over. If you want it to be over, it's like they're not they're not accepting that. They still want that life with you. They still want that forever with you. But things have changed, you know, you're someone's cold guarded, distrusting. It's like the trust is broken here and it's difficult. There's still feelings here though, still mutual feelings. Pause, reflection, rest. And you can have someone else, like you need to, you know, this person's trying to pause and, and figure out how to reconcile with you. But I want you to know, like, if this person is toxic, like, you can cut this pattern out. You can end this pattern. And I see if you do that, I feel like you're going to be focused on finances and work for a while. But then you're going to meet someone like you might meet someone at work um, or just when your finances are more stable, like when you're just in that energy. Like, I just feel like some of you might be meeting someone like you know, connected to work somehow or connected to getting your finances in order. Maybe someone that'd be helping you financially in the future. But I just want you to know that like you have choices, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you do have a history with this person. It's like you guys always kind of come back to each other. It's like it's never really fully over for you. But 
Like, it's your choice, though. You know what I mean? Like, you can cut the cord here. You can say, you know what? I want to end this cycle. I want to take the karmic lesson. I want to I want to end the soul contracts. I want to move forward from this. I want to be with someone that's going to actually treat me well. Like, you don't have to stay stuck in this energy. You can look at the pattern and be honest with yourself about why this pattern keeps repeating. Why do you keep coming back to each other? And do you want that? Do you want to keep coming back to each other? Or do you want to end this now? You know what I mean? Because right now it's just kind of like a codependency where it's like you're pissed or they're pissed, but it's like you're not really letting go of each other. You're still, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like you gotta, you're just stagnant. So it's like you got to move in a direction, you know what I mean? At some point, sooner or later. Um, so I just want you to know that too. Like even if, you know, even if this person does want forever with you, like you can still choose to end this cycle. You can still choose to be done with this person and you can tell the universe that you want to manifest someone new and you can kind of start working on manifesting someone that's healthier for you and more stable. So you have that option. You know, the world is your oyster right now. You don't have to stay stuck in this energy if you don't want to. It's just, I channel the cards, you know, it's, it's unbiased, you know, it just is what it is. This is what the energy is. But like I said, you can change it. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to stay here. It's up to you. Truth and clarity is coming out. Yeah. We had hidden truth earlier power struggle it's like this person's really chasing you right now new love you can also have new love if you put the intention into it into manifesting it yeah you can it's kind of up to you right now what path you go down um but yeah where i, I feel your person i feel like there's some truth coming out in the next couple weeks or so or this month maybe with mercury retrograde I feel like they're going to come back even harder towards you during Mercury retrograde with that energy. I just feel like their emotions are going to, um, makes me wonder if some of you have, like your person is like a Gemini or has Gemini in their chart. It just feels like, it feels like this Mercury retrograde is going to really affect them more than most. It feels like they're like, something's going to happen. Like their, their finances are going to go to crap or like something chaotic is going to happen in their lives. Because they're already in a chaotic mental state. Like, they've been like that since, you know, you guys broke up or since you gave them an ultimatum or whatever it was that happened. They've been, you know, self-destructive. They've been drinking or, or doing whatever they're doing to cope. They've been, you know, using this person, this man or this woman, you know, to, to, to distract them from you. You know, they've been going through that energy. So I feel like when Mercury Retrograde comes around, it's actually going to get even more chaotic for them. Like, they're going to get more emotional, more upset. The drunk text, if they're still doing that, it's probably going to amplify. Um, or you might like have a period of calm and then out of nowhere you get another drunk text again because it's like they're not that shit's going to hit the fan when Mercury retrograde comes around. Like they're not, they're not going to be able to handle it. Like they're there, it's going to affect their emotions very deeply for some reason and they're just going to kind of lose it, to be honest. And there's going to be drama, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, I feel like if you're kind of thinking like, oh, maybe they are moving on, like maybe I can try to move on too. And then like, just, I hate to say it, but don't be surprised if in, when Mercury retrograde comes around, you, you get that drunk text out of the blue after a month or so of not hearing from them. And you're just like, oh God, I thought it was over. I thought I could move on. Cause it's almost like you can feel it. You feel like you can move on if they move on, but it's like when they, when, it, when they text you, that's when it kind of hurts you when you're like, Oh God, like if you could just let me go maybe I could let you go too. And you're kind of feeling like that's happening now, but it's, it's honestly not They're They're probably going to come back around. Um, but like I said, it's up to you. It might take a lot of strength to master your, your power, your intention and manifest this new person, but you have that option. You know what I mean? Because you're, you're, this ex is very, it's kind of familiar. It's kind of like repeating energy. So you decide you want old love or new love. You know, it's up to you. Um, you could have this faded encounter coming in. But yeah, that's kind of just where I feel like you guys are at. Where you might think it's, you might think they're getting over you, but they're just kind of distracting themselves with this other person right now. I feel like um, you, you're probably going to be getting another drunk text, even if it's been a couple weeks or so since you've gotten one or a few weeks. I, I do feel like there's going to be another one coming in at some point, at least with the current energy, unless something shifts. Um, I feel like there's going to be drama with this karmic, to be honest, because some of you... Some of you don't know about this karmic. Some of you actually like, 
like your person was getting tired of like being so depressed over you. So they kind of started like they found someone that like wanted to hang out and have fun with them. And so they're kind of just, you know, like I said, just using that person for a good time, using them to distract them. It's kind of just like a rebound kind of connection. But the karmic is a little crazy, honestly, because and especially if your person's in that like negative mental state and like drinking or doing drugs like all the time or they're just like upset all the time, like they're just really like their emotions are just very back and forth and chaotic right now. And in that kind of mental state, it's like they're not going to attract positive loving people you know what I mean so it's like your person like met this person at like a bar or like a club or you know what I mean like somewhere like that like they just not that there's anything wrong with those places like it's I go there too sometimes you know there's nothing wrong with it but but I'm just trying to explain like your person's mental state where it's like they it's like an impulsive connection like they just found someone and they got drunk together or something or um or there was like a toxic friend from their past and they invited that person back into their life after you left. Um, it's like that kind of energy or after they left. So I feel like, I feel like you really need to protect yourself right now because there could be unexpected drama because I honestly feel like this karmic is trying to get your person to be serious with them and your person is like, honestly, I'm trying to win my ex back. Like we can, we can have sex or like we can go out together or whatever, but like, you need to understand, like, this is like what they're telling them. Like, you need to understand, like, I'm trying, I'm in love with my ex. I'm trying to get my ex back. You know, we can mess around in the meantime, but like, I'm going to be with my ex and this person's jealous and pissed and you ha- you need to watch out for this person. Like, cause there might be drama unexpectedly. Like you might not even know your person's like talking to this person and you might not be able to, you might not know because they don't really have feelings for this person. Like they're just kind of having fun and just using them as a distraction. So that might be why you don't feel this. If this is your story and this is resonating, that is, if it doesn't resonate, don't take it. But for some, it's like, you're not even channeling it just because like your person does not give a crap about this person. Um, So it's just kind of like a warning to watch out for drama because you could have this person that's like sending you negative intentions or, um, you know, trying to block you, trying to block you guys from reconciling or, you know, spying on you, spying on your social media, causing drama, whether it's whether it's drama, um, you know, like through witchcraft, through through just jealousy, negative thoughts, or it's drama through like like actually like physically getting competitive with you, whatever it might be, you kind of want to watch your back right now. I mean, you're protected, but it's good to pray and and call in your guides for protection too. And like light a candle for protection, that kind of thing. You know, you can light a candle, you can get a candle and carve into it and put some protective herbs on there and put salt around it. So no other outside energy gets in there. You know, there's simple ways to do like little, little spells like that, just here and there, just little candle, just candle prayers and whatnot. Um, for protection. But, but yeah, it's kind of like a warning about drama here about chaos that you might not see coming. Um, sorry, I wish I had something more positive for you guys. But like I said, if you want a private reading, just email me and I can go more in depth into this and let you know what's up. But let me get a few messages here because they're getting kind of late into this. I want to fix this, but I am not sure where to start. I've grown up. I'm ready for commitment. Yeah, it's like your person really just wants to do right by you. But you have multiple potential partners. Your energy is magnetic. So you don't have to go back to this person. It's up to you. But I feel like you need to... You're stagnant. And I feel like you need to move one direction or another. Because like I said, a lot of you did not get closure with this person. And they didn't get closure with you. And it's like you didn't want the closure. Or they didn't want the closure. Someone didn't want closure. Because someone didn't want it to finally be over. They wanted it to just be like a temporary pause. Or like, oh we'll get back together eventually. I know we will, you know, it's like that kind of energy. So it's like some of you guys kind of need to, to get that closure unless you want to work on things. But right now it's like, you're just going in circles and you're stagnant and it's just holding you up. So it's kind of like, do you want to work on things with this person? Or do you want to manifest a new partner that might not be your usual type and could be someone that you work with or that's very financially stable. Could be an earth sign too. I'm romantic and I'm emotional. I usually hide it well, but you bring out my softer side. I've never felt this way before. And this could be your new person talking, I feel, too. 
I've come so close to messaging you. I start typing and then I overthink and end up deleting everything I wrote. It's the old person probably. It's like they're... I just feel like you need the warning because some of you are like, oh, wow, like, okay, they're not texting. That's like, you're almost like upset, but kind of relieved too. You're like, maybe they're moving on, but they're not. I want to talk to you, but so much time has gone by. I'm not sure how to start up a conversation with you. I'm jealous. I'm afraid that you already are or that you will end up dating someone else. I'm afraid you've moved on by now. I want to be open and honest and vulnerable, and I want to tell you my secrets. It's so weird because it's like they're they're back and forth. <laughs> they're so back and forth because they're they're like back and forth between like self destruction and like awakening and like I'm gonna do right by my person. I'm gonna I'm gonna get help. I'm gonna get counseling. I'm gonna be better. And then like self destruction. It's like so back and forth. It's chaotic right now. But it's almost like a like a clearing process. Like all this um, like a dark night of the soul where it's like this. Your person had to go through this through this chaos and through this emotion to kind of get out of stagnant energy and find themselves again. So they're still, in, they're still in that darkness. They're still going through that dark night of the soul or just similar energy at least. Um, but it's just strange because it's like, they're trying to do right by you. Like they, they are, they're trying to win you back, but at the same time they're being self-destructive and some of them are messing around with the karmic partner, you know, due to the self-destruction and just not wanting to feel so much pain. Um, I've thought about going on vacation with you. So it's like, it's really weird mixed energy. But I mean, I think your person eventually is going to get better. I just feel like they're kind of, they don't know how to deal with all this emotion right now. So it's kind of chaotic right now. I'm aware we're telepathically communicating. We have a deep spiritual bond. I have daydreamed about what it would be like to be married to you. There's no one like you. I realize now I won't be able to find a love like ours with someone else. And I had a huge epiphany. And I'm trying to get my life together so I can come back to you with a stable love offer. All right, there you have it. So like I said, if you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box. Any donations are appreciated. Um, they're all going to, or most of them are probably going to me finding my, my person in Seattle County in July. <laughs> going back to Washington to look for him. It's kind of hard. I don't even know who he is. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and subscribe if it resonates.